Okay, so hey, what's up? I'm doing this video on Pluto in the sign of Aquarius, which is, I think is going to be very interesting, this transit that's coming up. Now, this is going to take place on March the 23rd, but it's going to retrograde back into the sign of Capricorn. Um, maybe it, it, like it, within a, the couple, a couple months from the time that it hits Aquarius. Um, it's going to retrograde back into the sign of Capricorn. I'm not sure of the date, but I just want to talk about this transit anyways, because by 2024, it's going to be completely moved into the sign of Aquarius. Okay. Because we're going to get a taste of it. <laughs> I just want y'all to know in March, we're going to get a taste of, of, of all of this Pluto leaving Capricorn and going into Aquarius. And let me tell you. When it went, when Pluto transited Capricorn, it did a very big upheaval, trying to transition, trying to um, pretty much change the structure, the structure that we're living in right now. Okay, the structure of the world. And we've seen that. We've seen that through weather. We've seen that through, um, you know, people being exposed, people, governments being exposed. We see actors, actresses, people affiliated with them come out and say stuff, you know, about, we seen stuff about, um, you know, I, I don't want to say certain words, but when you take an individual against their will and you sell them, all right, we have seen, we've heard about these things from different places all over the world about the religion, you know, pastors and um, um, bishops and <laughs> evangel, like all of these people, you know, these people, not just them, but these people in these places of leadership. Okay. Faking the funk schools, you know, you name it. Family structures, the family structures being, you know, um, brought up to question and how that looked and lineage, you know, what happened to people, abusive situations that they went through. Okay. And I want you to understand that this, the structure and things dealing with it was exposed in a few different ways, a few different ways. Even if you had to take people coming and playing a certain role or a certain part to do so, you know, like for example, let's take Donald Trump. I never got on, I'm just going to be a hundred percent. I never got on a bandwagon of none of that, that was going down with that situation. Cause I'm just like, I, I was a person that used my mind in the situation. I wasn't just using or just, I just, the whole time I felt like our emotions were being played with. Like they were just throwing out stuff to play with our emotions, no lie, from every, everything that was played, and it worked. But I feel like a, a big part of what he represented, even if it was at the expense of him um, being exposed for certain things too, because I, like, I don't feel like anybody is really ever clean, but I'm just saying the level of vitriol that took place Nobody else was under fire for that type of stuff. And that's just, that's just my stance on that. But what I'm trying to say is that him being president exposed a lot of other stuff that was going on in the world and leadership. You know, we really did see even, even Biden being president. Yeah. It was under speculation all this time. You know, people saying, Hey, you know, um, the president Whoever is the president is not really the person that's running things. Like, that's not the person that's really in control. You know, they're just a puppet themselves. We seen that take place. We seen someone that looked like they were the president and they were actually doing things the way they wanted to do it, regardless of what was being said and what was being done. And then we see another situation to where we clearly see, hey, this person is in control of nothing. Like, what is happening here? And we're, the point that I'm trying to make y'all, and this is, I'm not trying to put my personal beliefs in, and I'm not trying to step on anybody else's, but I'm just saying, we see this stuff playing out and people that were used as pawns or people that 
it helped bring that to the surface, just had to help bring it to the surface. I mean, this goes all the way down to stuff that, you know, that's out about people in the music, music industry. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff they have been for all this time trying to figure out, okay, so who, what happened to Biggie? What happened to Pac? Okay. Now, and, and like, I've been following a lot of this stuff all along, guys. I might even actually do video speaking on this because I find it very interesting. Um, and I was in those, you know, during that time, you know, I was coming up listening to these, these artists and stuff like that, you know, and just watching everything play out. And now they're even saying like we have people's bodyguards coming out saying, Hey, this is this is some stuff that I experienced with these people, with these individuals. And we're even getting down to the truth of you know what was going on all along that was that was was being attempted to be hidden. So so what I'm trying to say guys is we saw Pluto and Capricorn say, "Hey, we are about to break down this structure. We're about to break it down through exposing it." Like, we're going deep in, okay? We're going deep in, and we're coming out with the truth. Like, you're going to be standing there bare. Whenever you're dealing with Pluto, it tries to, in that energy, it tries to strip you down practically naked, okay? And you're standing there, and you're, and you're standing there bare, and you're standing there, and you're looking defenseless, okay? And it's a very powerful force in the process of doing this. Um... Mind you, it's taking us all, uh, ushering us all into the new age. Like we've been having, you know, inklings and, you know, rumors and rumors of wars. We have been seeing slow transitions. We have been seeing signs of the times. We have been having transits that's like pushing us there, edging us on, whatever. And then, you know, we we did a, a whole complete shift but, you know, you still have aspects within this structure, within this system that's continued to be broken down. And let me tell you, Pluto in Aquarius is like, boom, here we go. We standing right here at the door of in the, the, the gates we're entering in, baby, we here. We have arrived and the energetic shift, things are done differently and there's nothing nobody can do about it. And you can sit here, you can discuss it all you want. And I will say this time and time again, I know y'all probably get tired of me and you get tired of hearing me say certain stuff over and over again, okay? But as a person that deals with behavior and, and you know, um, and, <laughs> okay, actually putting plans together to alter certain behaviors within individuals, within people, within children, I can tell you that you do that through consistency, you do that through consistency. And I will also tell you that I refuse to have a debate, debate with somebody, okay, that is saying, is coming to me and wanting to confront me and have these conversations with me about being stuck somewhere in the past. I can have the conversation with these individuals, especially if they're really willing to learn. But one thing I'm not going to do is argue with you about your willingness and your neediness and your desire to be stuck anywhere in the past. And I promise you, even if I desire to be, I'm not going to be because I happen to be an astrologer that knows energy and I know how to move with energy. And that's all it is. It is needed. It's, 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 it, it, it bewilders me. Okay. To see people and to hear people and how they really believe, okay? They really believe that what they think, okay, is true for everybody. <laughs> they, and why I'm saying that is because I'm like, dude, like, do you know how small you're thinking right now? Do you know how much it is that you are unaware of? And I get it, you're scared, but that has nothing to do with me, honey, and it don't got nothing to do with the rest of us that we know, hey, yes, it could be a little bit frightening um, at times dealing with stuff that you don't know and you're unfamiliar with, you feel like, all right? But trust and believe, everybody that's ascending over, everybody that's crossing over, it's in their DNA already to be present for that. And, uh, and, and the ones of us, shoot, our children... 
And our children's children is more prepared than we would be. And we're scared for them. <laughs> you know, it's it's really amazing to me. And it's not about me putting other people down or individuals down. That's just not at a certain place. You know, it's it's just not. But at the same time, I'll be darned. This is warfare. You don't you see it all around? But I will be darned if I have to diminish myself, live beneath the level of my knowledge and foresight and insight and awareness for somebody else that feels like they don't want to open their eyes or they can't see or they're at the level that they're at. That has nothing to do with me. I'm here, I'm, I'm here to bring the updated information. And I'm telling you that Pluto in Aquarius is doing the same thing. And here we see advance in technology from a minuscule level all the way to top notch level. We see that. Along with that does come, you know, getting rid of some other stuff. And I'm not trying to be negative, but guys, this is the process that we are going through. And it's best to be aware. When we talk about anything dealing with Aquarius, we are talking about knowledge. We are talking about knowing. This is why when I talk to y'all and I say, hey, I don't want to have these conversations. I don't want to have these debates. I don't want to have this. I'm not still sitting there stuck, you know, entertaining whether planets exist and we are rep and we are the energy that and, and resonating that energy and living that energy and projecting that energy and reacting to that energy on a daily basis. I'm not, I'm not, that's not my job to babysit somebody that doesn't believe that. And they can say, oh, well, I've outgrown the planets all I want. Yeah, we have evolution. <laughs> evolution takes place, honey. But you got to understand, though, that there is a system that's governing us. And it's science. And it's not my fault that people were duped into believing a generic version of that science to be controlled by other individuals. And you don't want to come outside of that. That's not my fault, honey. And let me tell you guys. I have fought people and I have had people come up against me and I have had people to try to tune me out. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about because of it, baby. And that's what I'm saying. When I, when you guys see me do things, like you guys see me make community posts and stuff like that, where it looks like I'm slapped, like I'm throwing stuff in people's face or I'm being arrogant or I'm being rude. You better believe that it ain't to none of my people that support me. It ain't to none of my people that's on a journey of enlightenment and awareness. And we know that we're not none of these physical things and we know that we're not attached to none of that stuff. It ain't for none of those people, but it is for the people it's it's a spiritual representation okay it's a spiritual representation and it is for and it's just me saying to all of those people okay on a spiritual aspect the spiritual level all the way to the physical that was part of thinking that you was gonna bring me down or trap me in somewhere it's just a little laugh in your face okay that's all that that is that's all that it is it ain't to the people that truly are present because they want to be present because they know, you know, they need to, they, they need information. It's not to none of those people. And I just wanted to say that. Like, don't ever get it misconstrued. And I'm going to tell you something. I played humble. I've been humble all my life, but sometimes you got to represent that fire. Okay. You got to bring that fire. That's what you got to do. Cause people try to play you and they think, that they get it. Let, let me tell you guys something. And I know this is this is a video about Pluto and Aquarius, but I, I also intuitively speak. And I'm telling you right now, if you ever feel like you're less of a person or what you say don't matter, what you went through in your life ain't nothing, you know, it's it's just, oh, well, it's just life, you know. Oh, you should just take it. You should just take it. You should just take being mistreated by people, by people that's considering themselves as friends, by people that's labeling themselves as a family member, okay? You should just take mistreatment. You should never rise to be above any of that. You should never try to fix, you know, karma and, 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 and stop cyclings of abuse. Whoever tries to make you feel like you're unwanted, you're unneeded, 
you're nobody because of that and because you can you have the strength and because you have the courage to stand up on your own when other people are coming against you when the world has turned their back on you when you feel like you don't got nobody else to go to okay you all right at first i want you to know you're not alone you're not trapped okay you will the universe will carry you on you you get what i'm saying you will be you will surpass all of this stuff but understand that these people are only treating you this way because of their insecurities they're only treating you this way because they're not ready to move past their inadequacies but you you are none of those things you don't have to be stuck there and pluto in aquarius is telling all of you that know that you don't because remember i'm telling you this is about an energy of no that's why I talk to y'all uh, in in a sense of, um, you know, like, oh, this is what we already know. If we already know these things, if I already know something, I don't need to deal with people that don't know. It ain't my problem. I'm not better than them, but it's not my problem. So Pluto in Aquarius is no different. That is what you pretty much where you have to be at. Um, energetically to align with the Pluto, the Aquarius energy period, Pluto and Aquarius um, in the changes that it's going to bring about. And like I said, and it can seem like I'm being all over the place, guys, but I'm really intuitively talking. And y'all know I do this all the time. On my astro astrology videos, my I don't have no notes. Okay? And if, and if you hear and you're picking up on what I'm saying, because you're supposed to be here picking up on it, good. If not, mm, because I'm past the time of talking about, oh, yeah, you're going to get money this way, you're going to get money that way. Yeah, because people get money and they don't get money. They go up, they go down all the time. But what about what's really going on, huh? Okay? What about what's really going on? So, you know, it's, it's, this is just about understanding that, we're in a different time, period. And it's going to come about for some people in a real ugly way. However, okay, just because you have an ugly experience or you have something that feels like it fails or is not working or it's being taken away from you, it doesn't mean that you're doomed. It means, okay, so I need to make a shift. It means... I need to see myself in an evolved state where I need to transition, okay? Where do I just need to allow myself to transition? Where do I need to allow myself to expand? Pluto in Aquarius is not for people that stand stagnant. So with this transit, we're going to get a lot of unpredictability, a lot of unpredictable circumstances. But, you know, we're going to get a lot of advances too and advancements. And it may take place though, and different, it may not take place in the U.S. I mean, there's going to be, now with the internet and stuff like this, this stuff is affecting the whole world. But with every rise, honey, is a fall. And then the new person or the new place will be on top. You get what I'm saying? The new area of interest will be on top. Okay? And it's not going to be, have all the opinions that you want. But if you're a person that's like, okay, well, you know, I'm this race and I just can't see myself collaborating with that race over there. Well, you might want to get with the program. And you don't want to be, listen, with the time that's coming up, you don't want to be the group, <laughs> shall I say. That's allowing yourself to be defeated. You got to be able to level up on all areas, insight, knowledge, education. You know, you know what gets me? This will always, this, this really is, this will always get me. It's illogical to me. When people say, oh, well, you know, you don't need an education. You don't need to educate yourself. You just waste the money. You should just go on your dream. You should just go off of your talent. I heard somebody say that the other day. I think I heard Tasha K say it, okay? And I'm like, okay, great. That sounds great. Okay. And I think it was because Fantasia um, decided to go back to school. I never 
come at people for trying to better themselves in a way that they know how to better themselves. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Although I'm not an individual that is hung up on a degree or a diploma or nothing like that. Trust me. I'm not. I'm not. But I do understand that things that are in place, they could be used as tools, vehicles. They're those things that we can use that, you know, ultimately gets us in the position that we want to be in. Gets us to the place that we want to be at. And then from that place, we're able to make so many different changes. Yes, if you do have a talent, if you do have a skill, use it. But you have to understand, too, that you have to educate yourself when it comes to your talent, when it comes to your skill. You got to be willing to practice and put in the work still. It ain't just about you saying, I'm about to get up here with my talent and my skill and nothing and do nothing else with it. Like, just just get up as I am. I had some somebody comment on my video, on one of my videos the other day, and telling me, they were telling me, how much I've grown. So really, and you can go back and you can look at the old video that I done. I'm not the same. Yeah, there's going to be, it's always going to be me, my personality and things of that nature that's going to come out that you're going to see. Oh yeah, that's butterfly. But I'm not the same. I've grown. I've grown and I still have my gift and I still have my talent. But at the same time, I had to grow. In order to fully access my my skills and my talents. I had to. And there's probably deeper. I can go deeper. I can get more. I can have more from it. So never ever put yourself in a situation to where you feel like you don't have to do anything. You can do absolutely nothing. And you can just show up. I'm just about to show up as I am. Nobody wants anybody that's just saying I'm about to show up as I am. So showing up as you are, meaning I'm not about to become another person for you. But at the same time, you show you can you can you can show up as you are, right? And you can show up as you are mediocre. You're not trying, you're not putting your effort in, you're not doing your best, you're not being the best that you can be. None of that. And you expect somebody to say, hey, I'm about to hire you on my job. I'm about to hire you to do some work for me. No. That's not how it works. And I get it. I get it. I don't, listen, there's a lot of people that have made their way on, you know, by doing their businesses, by, you know, being online, doing videos, podcasts, whatever you name it. TikTok even. You name it. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, using their, using their talents and stuff like that. But there's, and there's nothing wrong with that, but everything is not always about a dollar. You can get on here and you could be saying the most stupidest things that you could ever say out your mouth and you getting paid thousands of dollars. Okay. But when you actually take time and you invest it in yourself and you're building yourself and you're building character, okay, you're bettering yourself, whatever the case may be, your value, just the way that you feel about yourself in particular, you're going to come out here and you're going to represent yourself better and you're going to be better for others as well. It's it, it's always that the more... Um, ratchet you get the more the more it, it, it brings in the majority of people it always you know but that don't mean that you're supposed to necessarily go partake in it or you're not supposed to ever better yourself either it, do, it doesn't mean that okay that's what's got us screwed up now you know and i'm not knocking it because we live off of money we live off of uh um um, this financial system, but that don't mean that the financial system is natural. People sell their souls every day for it. And they're willing to sell you up and down the stream for it as well. Because really you go and you, you spend some money and you know, you get a new car, you, you live in life, whatever, <laughs> buying the clothes that you want to wear, but you ain't really investing in nothing though. You don't really own nothing though. You get what I'm saying? What is your family looking like? 
What is your health looking like? See, we can we can go on and on. What is your mental state of being? And this is why I don't knock people. And I and I get it. The education system is screwed up. But you have to understand, it don't matter what system we're in, what system we're in, everybody is always learning. So, I'm going to tell you, when I went to school, and God knows it took me forever because I just was with that individual that I was like, man, I ain't doing this or whatever. For what? But when I went to school, I felt like it was something that kept me on track. And I said, I was like, okay, so me starting school, how I'm going to know if I'm staying on track? Because it was like a, it was like something that was set in stone. It's like, okay, here you go. You start here, you finish here. Along the way, along the way, if I'm trying to finish what I started, anything outside of that, I was going to be off track. Okay. Every single time, you know, when relationships come, there's drama situations, and I'm like, dang, you know, it's either me finish my assignment here because it's finals and pass this class, or it's either me fight out and go be with some dusty. What am I going to do? I'm going to be like, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, find out being with the dusty and possibly fill up my class. Is that me staying on track? No. Okay, sorry, dusty. No, I won't be able to fly out because I have to turn my work in. You see what I'm saying? Anything that you can start. Now, if it's not school that you use, what else? You, can, you can use something else. But I'm just saying, people don't understand what something like that can represent for, for an individual. So, like, don't be knocking it every single time. Call it out, but don't try to put another person down. Don't, don't try to do that for what they use it for. What it, and then it, it gets to maybe, you know, there's some type of educational systems that should be in place. Even because listen, and, and I'm going to say this, I'm about to go out here and I'm about to say this. Okay. Does it cost money? People pay for, is it too expensive? Heck yes. Does it cost money? Yes. But at the same time, what I found out, even with doing business, even with doing business on here, people the people that are willing to pay, they're taking it the most, they're the most serious because you're not going to invest your time and your money in something that you ain't really that serious about. Okay. Anyways, and then I would tell this to people that's running a business. People want something for free. You can, you can pick and choose like, well, what I'm going to give, I might give this person something free or whatever, but at the same time, make them earn it, like make them do something that qualifies them. Okay. So, Hey, you get, you, you know what I mean? Like you buy three apples, you get the fourth one free. (laughs) And I'm not trying to develop, I'm not trying to say be this capital, um, you know, fall into this, this capitalism system. That's not what I'm saying. Even outside of that system, when you're dealing with people, When you're dealing with people in your everyday life, if someone wants to get into a relationship with you, okay, well then show me what, show me why you relationship material. Like show me why I should spend my time with you. You can't just be coming over here leeching off of me. You can't just be coming over here taking energy off of me. You can't just be coming over here sleeping with me. You see what I'm saying? Because and, and, and giving nothing re- in return or giving bare dust the minimum in return. Because I'm going to always know my potential. And I'm going to always know what I'm willing to give in and what I'm willing to invest, honey. And if you can't invest, you can't match that and double it, then I don't need you. And people will try to talk down on you and they will try to fault you. And they will try to act like your life ain't nothing because you single or you ain't dealing with bull crap. Well, honey, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't deal with bull crap and I don't deal with abuse. I'm not going to be abused by nobody. I'm just not. And if people weren't so hard up, they wouldn't allow themselves to do so. And they put all the excuses in the world on why they do. Like it's a badge of honor. And it's not. And I'm going to get on some other subjects too. 
Okay, so look out for this because I'm going to be getting on other subjects too. And you're going to see me post it on my, I don't want to tie everything in this, but you can just pretty much tell in this from what I'm saying right now with this transit, we think it futuristic over here. Okay. And we think it, and we not, and we not dealing with these attachments. So with, and listen, I'm not trying to hop around, but listen, Pluto and Aquarius, there's going to be a lot of attachments and things that we think, and we thought that we needed that we're going to find out, honey, we don't need it. We don't need it. And it's advancements. And you know, advancements in medicine. And I'm going to tell you right now, I should say instead of medicine, advancement in health, honey. And a lot of people are going to realize that their advancement in health is going to be about them taking care of themselves. It's going to be about what they're eating. I think people have realized that now. They've realized that already. Those people are, they, they're ahead of, 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 you know, they're ahead of the game. And it's just, it's just maddening to me. Like all this stuff that I'm seeing going on, you know, a Pluto on a craze is going to do nothing but bring this stuff out more to the forefront anyways. Right. Um, and we, we, like I said, we're going through massive changes. It's more about, um, even finding people. Listen guys, if we get in a situation to where things really go down, we already got wars going on. <laughs> And it is is knocking at your door. It's like, who are you going to be in association with that you can work with that's going to help you? Your alliances, pretty much. Because we're dealing with Aquarius. It's kind of like, okay, so boom. If we, if a group of us, okay, we get together, we can try to, and, and we're working together, we can, you know, have... Our food can stretch longer. And you can say, well, well the more people, how is that going to happen? Okay, it's going to happen because people are getting together, bringing their resources together to help each other. So it's not about, and, and, and it can stretch because it's not about, it's better than you just being out there alone. You know, you probably got protection and everything within these alliances. And I'm just throwing this out here. Because everybody can always say, well, that ain't going to be me. We don't know what anything is going to be at this point. We see it happening to other people. But the point that I'm trying to make when I even mention this is I'm trying to talk about um, the energy of Aquarius and thinking that way. You think the people from Ukraine, you think they just wanted to up and leave where they were from? They had to detach from their whole, like, from their whole existence <laughs> and come over and be brought into these other different places. Like, think about that. That could be anybody at any given time. And it's funny to me that people feel like mentioning that type of stuff means you're being negative. No, honey, it means that we're living in the real world. We're looking at reality of things. It ain't about you being scared. It's about you being prepared. It ain't about you being scared. It's just about you knowing what's going on. Listen, Pluto and Aquarius, that transit is going to show you where... Major cha changes are happening in the area that is happening in your chart um, for, you know, for each sign too. And it's, it's showing these major changes that's happening. It's showing where you're going to have transformations. It could be very unpredictable during this time, okay? And you got to learn where you're needing to detach. You're needing to detach from um, the, the, the norm, you're needing to detach um, from um, how you're feeling pertaining to this area. You know, you got to be more in the know. And the uh, listen, the best way to understand and to start being in the know, to be honest with you, is to get to know yourself. You got to get to know yourself. A big thing that helps is knowing your chart. It's no, it is knowing your chart and knowing the energy that you're dealing with. Granted, knowing yourself, um, it sounds cliche, but the reason why I say that is because that's where the, the true, real stability resides. 
and it hasn't, you know, it hasn't led me wrong yet. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, and like I said, I have some topics that I'm going to be covering on my channel. I have topics that I'm going to be recover that I'm going to be covering. So it, you may see these. You, listen, you can bypass these topics in these videos if you want. If you would like to partake, you can partake. And understand that it's not for you to take anything personal. It's, it's really not. Okay? But I'm seeing things out there. I'm tired of it. Okay? We need to think about how we are going to move forward. We need to think about how we're going to make changes that's going to benefit us. <laughs> you know? And we need to think about that now. So I'm going to go through each side and I'm just going to, it's not going to be long. I'm not going to make this long, you know, um, cause this is something that I can just talk about, you, you know, like I said, throughout my channel, different videos or whatever, but I just am going to touch on it and I possibly will be doing more videos about Pluto in Aquarius a little ways down the line. Like when it really does transition into Aquarius, like all the way in 2024, because it's going to be some big things popping. You get what I'm saying? It's going to be some big things popping, some little things stopping. All right? <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. And I don't got to come on here and sugarcoat it. I just don't feel the need to do that. It's unfair. It's unfair to the people and the individuals that's actually experiencing um, life to where they can't be delusional. Okay. And it, let's just be real. We're being affected by everything all over the world that's happening from all over the world. It ain't just about you and your little town and community right now because we're having mass migrations. Okay. To where it's bringing all of this stuff front door. Front door. Hey, right here at your front door. And you ever heard that song? My mom, because like my mom was like heavy into gospel and stuff like that. And I just remember when I was a kid hearing this song, it was like, sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. I don't know if y'all ever heard that song, but I remember that song. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to do that. That's something, <laughs> that's something we all going to have to do. Okay, so I'm going to cover each sign right now. And um, thank you. Okay, so Aries, Pluto in Aquarius for you is happening in your 11th house. Wow. Now, this is the thing, okay? Because, um, you know, here we have... Maybe some unpredictability, you know, when it's coming to some something that you're doing with uh, education, something that you're learning, you know, things might go not go exactly as planned. But when you allow these transitions to happen and you make it through this energy or what this energy is ushering in is really for you to go the distance like you can and it, and it may take time and you got to be willing to not be stuck. You can go really far. Like I'm talking like really far um, in education, maybe even really far in so, like a, like there could be like some type of group or organization that you can start or join or something like that. Um, especially stuff dealing with online, online sales, marketing. Now, don't get me wrong because this could be, there could be an up and down in sales. It, like if this is your job or your livelihood, it could be, it could go up and down. So where it could benefit you is having multiple forms of income, um, as well. So I'm not ever saying, Hey, get rid of one thing to just go towards a, like a direction, like the way you're just going to be for sure at, because it could be, um, hard to do that at this point in time, you know, like just things are not going as planned. But like I said, 
Pluto in Aquarius is in the 11th house, Aries 11th house anyways. So some of you guys can make it big or make it famous being online or you can like get garner some sort of um, income like the way you're teaching people and you're learning, teaching and learning and being as expansive as possible will be beneficial to you. Being narrow minded <laughs> is not going to help you right now. Now I'm going to be back to talk about this more in details. It's not something that you should worry about, but I don't like, yes, I, I gave a whole overview before I went into each sign, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to bring the reality of what's really going on in our world and what's about to really be going on in this transit to everyone. So I'm just touching on each sign. All right. Um, so yeah, that's definitely happening in your 11th house and you know, it's dealing with friend groups and stuff like that as well. <laughs> Okay, I kind of feel like the best thing for you is you really got to think about this, Aries, because you got to, you you know, be who and what you want to be around or you want to be associated with. Let's just say that. Okay, so Taurus, this is happening in your 10th house. Wow. So this is a career and public image. So listen. Pluto and Aquarius is going, some of y'all are going to be really rebellious, like rebelling against the system, rebelling against the status quo. Or if you find yourself as a Taurus stuck in the system and stuck in the status quo, there could be situations or circumstances that come about for you. That's not allowing you to do that. Like that's taking you through these changes to, to really expand your mindset and your point of view and your approach on these things. Okay. And by this happening, it could be very, the a sense of unst um, instability for you as, you know, um, as far as like career. Okay. Now this is your chance though. Like this is your chance. If the more I feel like you can allow yourself to think like, well, what would be best for others? Like how can I represent others? What can I bring them? What can I offer them? You know, um, as far as business or career, that would be the best route. But I'm just saying, you know, I give this little heads up because um, a lot of companies and things of that nature could take a hit. This may not be at the beginning of this transit, though. This can happen later on in the transit. Okay, could could take a major hit, and there therefore it's requiring you to transition. Um, you know, when it comes to like your career, career choices and things of that nature. But like I said, there's progression here. Like as progressive as you can be, um, it will definitely help. Like the, as flexible as you can be. Like I said. I told Aries multiple, multiple forms of income will definitely be something that's good, you know? Um, but you, I, I say think outside of the box too. Because like you can take your, your career could definitely be expansive at this time or it's, it can like go through changes. But anywhere where there's dealing with finances and material, it could be up and down for everybody, like all over the world, okay? And this is happening in your 10th house. So just definitely keep that in mind. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it more. Um, Gemini in your 9th house, okay? So yeah, definitely um, you are the teacher. <laughs> um, some of you guys could be traveling as well. Um, to expand something like expand your experiences, teach, you can be doing something like mentoring people, teaching people, um, changing your belief system, bringing that out, bringing certain information to the forefront. Okay. So where it's going to hinder you at is, um, and I think, 
I think your awareness is going to be inside your ninth house as well. No, 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 it won't. It'll be in your, it'll be in your first house. So it's going to be crazy. It could get very crazy for, for Gemini. The next three to, to 20 years, but it doesn't have to be in a bad way. It's not necessarily in a bad way, but you know, um, then at ninth house, it could be, you could be getting, you know, traveling. You could be doing things like traveling. You could be getting with partners and people that's at a distance or from different backgrounds and different cultures. Um, your belief system, Gemini, <laughs> is very much at play here. All right. And I kind of feel, you know, what's funny. I think it's going to work for you. This, what you lucky is that this is not necessarily a material house per se. Like of, of money, because that could definitely be a big problem when it comes to, you know, ups and downs in like, um, unpredictable things because this Pluto and Aquarius is definitely testing people and their attachments to things, all right? And yours would definitely be your belief systems, and, you know, you could be having different experiences that come about, you know, um, that could be seeming pretty strange or unfamiliar, but I will tell you this, okay? So so your flexibility is definitely key, but i tell you this, I really do feel like you're one of the individuals that this is going to definitely be beneficial for or could possibly work for. Because I do believe that a lot of Geminis um, already have some sort of either spiritual um, insight or knowledge or something like that that's outside of the normal way of thinking and being already. That you're just going to bring to the forefront. You're just going to live, okay? You're going to fully embrace, but you make changes as you need to. Yeah, <laughs> this is about ushering in a whole new paradigm of information, knowledge, experiences. Because you're just like, I'm not going to try to have the same old experiences, but don't worry. Life is going to bring you situations to where you really came. Yes, Gemini. Um, Cancer for you, this is the eighth house. Marriage, assets, business. Listen, some of you guys could decide to do some sort of business or something like that that could definitely take off and be, you know, render you really big business, you know, um, along the way. You're going to have to go through changes and stuff like that first. You know, some of you guys might break up from a marriage um, or look at marriage or commitments differently for some reason. Um, but... And some of you guys, like the next time, if you ever was to get married, or if you do, you might be looking at stuff like prenups, prenuptial agreements and stuff like that, because you're not really going to be, you're not going to really look at like, oh, I'm about to be with this person forever, you know, necessarily. You're going to prepare yourself. Uh, this is psych this is like psychological, there's a psychological aspect too with Pluto there. So your psychological state of being could be going back and forth and up and down. Like you normally have Aquarius in this house. I get it. But Pluto there, there's transformations happening to your um, psyche. So you might be in situations that are like unconventional. Mm, but I will say this, and th this can this may not be easy for you, but because we're in a house of emotions here, but if you can embrace this, you're going to receive the changes, the necessary changes. You're going to be able to just allow yourself to go through these changes, and you're going to see the results rendered earlier versus later. Because let me tell you, what the way energy plays out, with the transits, 
from the beginning to the end, by the time it's over, it's supposed to have done its job of putting you through certain experiences enough to see, like, okay, well, did you get the point? Like, did you, you know? And the quicker that we can embrace that, the better off we'll be. But this is no judgment here. Um. Yeah. And so, listen, just, you have to ride this wave. You have to ride this wave. Because being attached to anything could be unhealthy for you. But, I'm telling you, some of y'all could come out with big, like, very big on business. And you could still end up inside of some marriage or something like that. But it's not the norm. You know what I'm saying? It could be something different and unique about this marriage or this 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 situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, whoa. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Okay, but we're, we're going to talk about it. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? This is just me touching up on or, like, highlighting what this transit means. Okay? And we can definitely do things. I could do help you do things to work through it or whatever. Excuse me. Or whatever. It's it's gonna be beneficial for everybody. But changes. Leo. Oh, and your seven house of partnerships. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all might go through like a significant change, like a divorce partners, you know, being interested in people from different cultures, networking is sell your biggest market might be to people outside of your culture or outside of your area. Mm. So I feel like Leo, the more inclusive you can be, the better. Your relationships will definitely be taking on. You'll be getting to know yourself. And you'll be getting to know other people. And getting to know love and stuff like that. In a very... Allowing yourself to be free. And like, you got this way about yourself. Like, you got these types. You, you're you very consistent. You you know, you have a way about yourself. And your, your approach and things of that nature. That I feel you're going to have to... is you, You're going to have to loosen up on. In so many ways. That's interesting, Leo. It really is because this is taking place. There's changes. So your partnerships are not going to be conventional. You could be even um, a Leo that's like, I'm not really necessarily into marriage. You know, like you could be into um, focusing on things like partnerships and relationships to garner friendships and collaborations, not necessarily love. But like I said, when you there could be something odd or strange or different about your um a partner that you can meet or partners or people that you're going to meet as well and you may do better in business and things of that nature with people outside of your you like marketing to people outside of your normal environment mm. okay leo changes changes with relationships Dang, and don't be attached to these people neither, because there's some um, there's some unpredictability about it. Um, the more that you could just not trap yourself in is the message that I would give people. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Pluto is gonna be in your sixth house of work. Any, so what's, there's changes. Now these could be good. Don't get me wrong. But the thing that I want to stress to people is that Pluto, when Pluto is hitting somebody's sixth house or money house or practical houses, it could really, in, in Aquarius too, it could really jumble some things up. It brings an, in, an unpredictable nature to it. So it could be like up, down, up, down, you know, Oh, we need you. We don't need you. We're, you know, we need you. We're, we have to get rid of some people. <laughs> but if you, 
Okay, because I like I give what's happening, but I'm gonna give another side to that. Hey, but for some of y'all though, that's got multiple streams of income, or you got something um, that you're working on that can make money. You know, that that's practical. Like if the the more now, I'm not gonna say don't. I'm not gonna say to rely on practicality, like but or whatever. But no, no, no. The more that you can kind of stay practical, but be flexible at the same time, the better that you're gonna be. Like you're gonna, it's going to benefit you because you can see your work, yeah, and things of that nature be unpredictable. Things with your health, but this Pluto in Aquarius can make you go forward. Like, for you to be like, no, I'm finally going to get my health together and all that. Like, you can really transition into a whole new person, child. You know, with a whole new stream of income and something else that you're doing for work. But just understand, health may go up and down. Work may go up and down. So you have to be flexible and then you have to be really, really dedicated to making sure you're on the good side of things dealing with health um, so that... um. You're good in that area. Hmm. That's interesting. You might see your work, the work that you do, take some sort of progressive turn or unpredictable turn like, turn, turn like I said. It ain't no telling what's going to happen or what would happen, be happening to have that happen, but it's possible. But let's say, well, you could do work online or something like that, or you have another way that you bring in money um, that can also substitute when things are going up and down. And I feel like maybe you're already feeling that and you're trying to get in that whole vibe of things. Okay. So this is definitely going to be a, on your work and your health. Mm. But it could be the push you need. You know what I'm saying? I'm not seeing... Now, it's the money house. It's a money house. It's a practical house. Pluto somewhere changes, you know, and that could be up and down. Okay, so Libra, it's in your fifth house. Ah, this could be a little bit fun for you. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit fun for you, but it's definitely changes. I feel like, um, Pluto's here though. So you can, you can find yourself trying to get deep with people. Get to know people and stuff like that. Or like maybe your focus could be on somebody in particular, <laughs> And, you know, this could definitely be in a sexual manner, too. Like, I didn't mention this with, with Pluto in the eighth house for Leo, but, I mean, um, cancer. But, yeah, it definitely, like, it could be energy bringing in, um, these crazy experiences or just these unpredictable experiences for you. But you may be wanting to hold on to one or the other, you know, like your certain particular situation, but it's like causing you to change. Some of you guys can have children during this time. Um, or children or something comes like a, a focus of yours. Okay, so for the Lib Libras too that are raising children, yo, like your children or a child in particular could be a little testy or rebellious. Um, you're not gonna be able to treat that child the same like you would do your other children or the way you would you were raised, you know. But this can also be you feeling like that rebellious nature, like wanting to rebel. Um, you want to express yourself how you want to express yourself. 
and you can, this is something that's pushing you to really follow your heart, you know, and I don't know, like some of you guys are going to be exceeding past, like, I don't know. How, I, I'm saying I don't know because it's like something that I want to say that's like right there on the edge of my tongue, but it's not coming out. I, I like honestly, I feel like life is going to take you on a series of experiences, like a, a series of um, events that's playing out. <laughs> it's going to be different choices that you have, different directions that you can go in. And, um, it can seem like a lot, but it's definitely bringing in changes for you. It's bringing in changes. I don't, I don't see this as a bad thing for you, Libra. I, I really don't. I don't. Cause I kind of feel like you're just, you're, you're making this statement of like, no, I'm, expressing myself this is who i am i'm living who i am and some of you guys if you're not that's the direction you're going to want to go in and there could be something that you create that is 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 some type of something that you may create or some lifestyle that you have that if you embrace it you know you embrace the uniqueness of it of yourself you're definitely going to get good results. Really good results. Especially over time. Like, I would like to see some of y'all within 10 to 20 years. But it's in your fifth house, so you can have a lot of fun. And, you know, you can have children or be working with children, possibly. You can really decide to like follow your heart and do some things differently, like live your life in a very unique way. But this does kind of show in a way like a, you know, you're dealing with a situation possibly that is not open, but the focus on marriage and like, Cause like sealing something like, you know, really being in something like long-term if it's controlling or it's too confining, I like, there's a possibility that energy just doesn't support that with you right now. It's supporting self-development. It's supporting, um, your creative side It's supporting kind of like having fun, you know? And, and if this is your energy now, like with that Pluto, you would have to kind of like really work hard to focus that energy in and even with people that you're coming across partners and stuff like that that you're dating it could be them wanting to be casual kind of like have like a casual type relationship whatever um friend like relationship and um you would have to really try hard to have that focal point and express that like no this is like no you know i want more but ultimately, Libra, it's because I don't I don't really do content if I don't know if you notice this to where I'm doing any knight in shining armor thing and you should just be getting married and all that. I don't do content like that. Because I don't really believe in it. I don't I don't believe I think everything things are different from one person to the other. I think that I see a lot of people in relationships and marriages right now that, that I don't understand how they're in it. It's not healthy. I'm more about self-awareness, bringing information, people learning, bringing knowledge, insight, people understanding who they are and what their place is here, you know, instead of spending all that time, wasting that time going down the wrong path. I try to work with my daughter on a daily with this type of stuff. <sighs> but we'll talk about it, Libra. I'll be back. Um, Scorpio in your fourth house. Ooh, so you could be with Pluto here changes when it comes to stability. You're going to find yourself really having to get out of your comfort zone. Okay. Or, you know, risk being exposed or uncomfortable. This, the transit is teaching you this, by the way. So listen, you going to learn this. You, like, it's not like I'm saying... The transit is teaching us this. Like the transit is 
actively providing situations and circumstances that we're going to be in and then teaching us how to get out of it. But the quicker you just understand this, the better off you're going to be. The quicker you can understand what the transit is off, the transit is about, the less you will fight against it, the better off you're going to be. And this is in your fourth house. You can find yourself moving. Maybe even if you thought that you were not going to, you could find yourself moving or relocating. Possibly to a foreign land or just, you you know, doing it. And it could be up and down, instability, up and down, and things dealing with the home, up and down, you know. Um, it's weird. I feel like you can handle this, though. It is not necessarily a bad thing. Some of y'all might go from living in a very big house to downsizing. An apartment to a nice home. You get what I'm saying? Because Pluto is there. That's the only thing. Pluto being there. I feel like it's something you can handle though. And you got Pluto. I just. Like with Pluto here. Pluto is just asking you. Scorpio. To re-examine. Your security. Some of y'all sitting up here acting like y'all stuck and you are not. You're not challenging yourself enough. You're not coming outside your comfort zone. You're trying, like, you have the potential, though, to really, really um, transform your life without anybody else. Yeah, you're going to have these alliances. Don't get me wrong. But it's you're not dependent upon them. You're not. They, could, they should be able to be free and y'all all work together to facilitate something for each other. So expansion here, your family size might increase. You might get in a family where there's like uh, added brothers and sisters or whatever. Like I, like I see step families, friends. Okay, this is a this is a bunny house, a security house. So yeah, you can for some of y'all um, working online or working from home or something like that you could really tap into some big bucks i don't know what some of y'all are doing but uh yeah okay we'll talk about it in in up and coming videos sagittarius sagittarius my darlings your third house pluto is here baby like you're going through a major change a major change this is how it's dealing with siblings family and your local environment um, there's changes in something about your local environment. Like you could be switching environments altogether, or you're just um. There's changes there, so there could be like construct different things being built up around a city or a town that you're in, um, to where it becomes unfamiliar, or to, like things that you can utilize to advance you. Like these 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 places, these groups you can. You can network to, you can market to, you're going to be talking to some of y'all that does some type of teaching or some type of communication. Because, like, I could see this as, like, a, what is that called? I see, I could see this in, like, a radio person or, like, someone that tells the news or some type of um, broadcaster or something. <laughs> ah! So, change is there. Like, listen... You're going to be, y'all got to watch out. Y'all have to really guard your mental, um, your mental, should I say mental stability or the reason why I'm saying this is because Pluto here is we're dealing with psychological changes to the mind, um, this could put you in a position where you're very forward thinking though and you're bringing groups of people together or you're talking to people literally you could broadcast to people from in different areas or whatever communication something to little communication teaching learning that hey that could be good for some of y'all because Pluto's here you could build a business off of it or there's changes here you know you might have to change your mind about something or whatever but I'm really strongly getting to like I said your mental state of being guard that because Pluto here this is this is the psychological you got to stay away from people that's not listen you got to stay away from people in situations 
that you feel like is playing tricks on your mind or mentally you're being affected and not so it's not such a good way but you got some genius insight coming and your voice is changed like you your presence your mind the way you think is changing things it could change things for you it could change things you can be a bit help or benefit to other people so keep that in mind and, and you can literally make money off of this but just keep that in mind but so yeah you can you know mm, i like this is not a bad transit for sagittarius necessarily it just depends on like i said your psychological state of being you have to be mentally healthy um okay well we'll come back to that capricorn pluto and aquarius is in your second house and unpredictable ups ups and downs with um maybe finances and things of that nature um detaching for some things it could be some things that you might have to let go of because there's changes that's being made here but at the same time i mean can we talk about the fact that the more progressive you can be like you can there's some you can you can definitely make some some money here in the second house i mean there's money losses but there's gains too because this is a money house and you know um yeah um this is making changes to something around now hey <laughs> this is making changes to something around your local or like your environment and this is dealing with worth too. So I just, I feel like for you guys, um, you might have situations to where I feel like you're networking with people possibly. People at a distance will possibly be the best target for you. People at a distance or, um, because somewhere you're at, it may not be beneficial to some of you guys that's into sales and things of that nature, depending on what your business is, you know, or what, how you're making money. But your value may change because I'm seeing this too as for some of you guys, there could be some type of increase in your value, like the more forward, forward moving progressive you can be and flexible that you can be with that so i i'm just kind of feeling like capricorn it's something that you've been holding on to that you're like a way of living the way of being and you're going to have to let go of that you're going to have to be able to make these changes and you're going to have to really be someone like you the attachments that you have to things that's not you know you're going to have to um be flexible in that area. I do feel like you have some type of groups or associations. Like if you go through some type of hard times or whatever, you know, you trying to network and things of that nature, you have some type of groups or associations that are like your allies or there's going to be your allies or something that is definitely going to be there to help you out. I feel like you need to look into like, I, what's best for you? Currency, like a different type of currency, like some sort of investment that you're doing. Some of y'all need to look into investing, look for businesses, like up and coming businesses, progressive ones. And invest in them. You might, you might render good on your investment. Um, Aquarius is, woo, this is in your first house. And I, th I, I feel like you can handle it, but you just going through so many deep changes to yourself. Now. Um, I feel like this is just saying, hey, Aquarius, just step up to the plate and play your part and do your role. You get what I'm saying? Like, you could be part of helping change in other people's lives, too, because we're in a whole new energy, baby, and you got to teach people how to get there. You got to show people the way. And I feel like the way that you're living is going to be a sure example of what other people have to do. But, you know, very big changes for you. It could seem, for some of y'all, very hard. It could seem trying. 
or whatever. It can seem like you, you're losing things, but ultimately it's putting you in position, Aquarius. It's putting you in position and we're making a switch and we have already. We're just continuing to do it, um, moving into the age of Aquarius and um, yeah, major things coming up for you, like really major things coming up for the sign of Aquarius. And like I said, it's not going to be just easy for everybody because sometimes to get from one place to the next, you know, it's, it feels like we're losing something. It feels like, you know, we're exposed. It feels like we're vulnerable and you could be definitely feeling all of those things. But at the same time, Hey, um, the only thing you got to do is just know, like know where you want to go, know where you're headed and the energy is going to do everything else. Okay. For you. So this is going to be, you know, about, uh, you're going to be going through some, di some different transformations and stuff. And then it can affect you psychologically as well. But I kind of feel like it's a difference from an Aquarius that Aquarius is that no, they're taking heed to, you know, to the energy and they're, they're into their calling and purpose. And then the ones that are not it's two totally different things. Okay. But if you need counseling, if you need assistance, if you need support, do that. But y'all definitely got some big changes coming up, dog. And it could be very good. Okay. It could be very good if you allow it. Um, Pisces, this is happening in your 12th house. Pluto and Aquarius. Pluto's here. Psychologically, you're going through some things, you know. You're you're feeling you could possibly feel isolated, but you're really not because you're you got soul tribes, you got associations um uh, that's there and they're going to support you, you know. Um whew. Some things hidden things could possibly be coming out concerning you, who you are, but your family, your lineage, um, even talents that you have that you don't even know that you have, but you need to tap into because those, and I feel like different experiences that you're having in life is definitely going to help you do that. So we want to make sure that we're on top of our mental and emotional health though. And, um, the things that we're dealing with in our subconscious, you know, is going to come out and it's going to be plain as day for you. Um, I don't know. It's possibly going to take some sort of isolation for some of y'all, not where you're completely isolated, but if you're finding yourself spending time alone or you're getting those chances to, it could be good for you. It could be good for you because what's going to happen is you're going to really get, I feel like some of you guys are going to get real spiritual. Some of you guys are going to try to run to religion, you know, but I don't know. For uh, There's going to be for many though, that you're going to feel like, man, this is not the whole truth. And you're going to realize it's taking it, taking you back to yourself. But this is definitely an emotional, spiritual, transformative time for you. So don't be quick to react. Just be more reflective. And listen, I know it sounds like, oh, I don't want to do this, but trust me. You're still going to be in the world. And you're still going to be living. You get what I'm saying? But being able to be like, okay, well, you know, be more in a reflective state when you need to be is just telling you like to reassess things so, so that you're not becoming overwhelmed so that you can let go of a certain attachments and certain things that's not benefiting you when you need to do so you, that you can do like mental check-ins and then spiritually you can just allow things to happen. And that's where the magic is. Okay, Pisces. All right. So thank you. And I'm going to return with other transits, so make sure you stay tuned.